Ayo, Andy here, and well, it's that time again. OBS Studio 32 Beta 1 is now available. So, as you might know, the OBS team decided that they wanted to make more frequent updates rather than just doing ginormous updates and then having the the aftermath of what they had in OBS 28, which we all remember that. And if you're still on OBS 28, what you or before that, like what are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Come on, sort it out. Plugins are fine. You'll be fine. Um, but OBS 32 has got a bunch of different like bug fixes and everything like that in there. Uh, and there's a couple of notable uh, changes. So you can look through all the, the details on the OBS GitHub page. I'll leave all the link in the description and everything like that. And you can even download it and try it out yourself. Uh, if you download it as a zip file like this, you can actually put it into portable mode, which if you want to see how to do that, I've got a video on that as well on the channel. Just search Andy Lippy portable mode or I'll leave it down below, whatever. Um, and make sure you are subscribed because I do all sorts of content related tips, including some new 3D print stuff, which is exciting, which we've been doing on stream today at twitch.tv forward slash Andy Lippy. So a lot of changes, like I say, are fixes um, with things that are going to be changing in the future. So quite a big one is that um, they've added custom OBS widgets in preparation for larger UI updates. This doesn't really make too much like sense in the sentence, uh, but if I give you an example from uh, what Exceldro sent me earlier, is basically they're just completely changing how OBS like looks, works, and stuff like that. And I'm I'm all for it. I'm I'm all for it. This isn't actually like active at the moment, but it's like in there in preparation for the future, uh, which is really nice. So it's nice to see that it's finally getting a lick of paint to uh, look more modern as well, which is really nice. Um, I think it makes it a little bit easier for devs as well, uh, if I'm not mistaken. And obviously there's a lot of updates to do with like preparing for metal renderer and stuff like that um, for like m probably Mac, I believe, um, and little audio duplication issues with monitor and output and stuff like that. So a lot of nice little bug fixes and slight adjustments. So you can look through them, at your heart's content and your bug fixes down here that maybe you're having a bug that's that's happening. Uh, but the things that are most notable are the new features section. Uh, a basic plugin manager that Finite Singularity was streaming on his uh, channel. Obviously, if you guys are using the stream up um, plugin manager, then you 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 you're already in the future, man. Uh, we've had that out since like OBS twenty nine or something like that, and something that I work on daily uh, to make sure it looks awesome. Um, you can opt in for automatic crash log reports as well, which is quite handy for, for, for the dev guys because a lot of people don't share their crash logs and then they just complain that features don't work and there's no, nothing harmful in the logs about your machine or anything like that that, that isn't fine to be used publicly. It tells them about your hardware, that's it, but it's not going to give you your IP address or anything like that and a lot of people are always scared to upload the logs. So that is a really nice feature, so I would recommend just enabling that. Um, we've got uh, voice activity detection um, to NVIDIA RTX, which is another great feature um, to make your stream sound a lot better if you're using an RTX card, because then that way you, it's going it, to, well, it improves noise suppression because it's going to be listening for when you're talking, uh, which is awesome. Uh, we've also got removal of chairs in NVIDIA RTX, so we'll test that out in a minute. Uh, whether or not it explodes my PC whilst we do it. And we've got hybrid MOV support now, um, which I'm guessing that also means that it's better to be used on Mac and stuff like that, which is great. Um, so let's have a little look in OBS. Uh, this is OBS 32 beta. Um, and if you're wondering why it looks amazing, I have created this OBS theme from the ground up, which is just beautiful. I just wanted to modernize how OBS looks. If you want to get your hands on it, you can get it from andylippy.co.uk by joining memberships, literally any, any tier, just join um, and you can get access to it now as well, um, just there. Or if you're supporting stream up as well. Uh, which is which is awesome. It's a beautiful theme, and I'm still working on it and tweaking it as well. Uh, so the uh, the setting for the um, automatic opt in I'm, uh, would that be? I'm not actually sure where this one was because I was struggling to find it. Um, but I'm guessing it's. Uh, I would have thought it was somewhere in here or settings because you can obviously upload your crash reports and everything like that. So 
Um, I'm sure that will be in setting somewhere. Um, not entirely sure exactly where. I would put it like down here or something, or maybe advanced. Um, I'm not seeing it anywhere, so I, I might leave that in the, uh, the the description if I do find out where it is. Uh, but the one that you guys are probably like going, mm, plugin manager. So the plugin manager, this is very early doors right now. Uh, but it literally allows you to see the plugins that you've got installed and enable and disable them. That's that's all it does. It doesn't check what version they are like the stream up one does that I created. Uh, and if you do enable them, it's not done on the fly. You do have to start OBS. It's not just going to work. Um, you do need to do a full restart, which is just how uh, plugins are loaded into OBS. Um, oh, there's, there's another little sneak peek of something cool I'm working on. Look at this. Configure toolbar. Look at this. Yeah. Get subscribed because I'll do a video on this and you don't want to miss it because this this is going to be a free part of the plugin. Hell yeah. Um, but that's the, the changes. There is a bug at the minute that says um, that scenes and groups are highlighted in red. Um, but they're, they're aware of that and obviously just have a little poke around. Like I say, it's more performance updates and, and bug fixes. Uh, but let, let us know what you think, and obviously, if you have any issues, if you're trying it, make sure you do feed it back to the OBS dev team. Uh, make sure you subscribe, come visit me at twitch.tv forward slash Andy Lippy, and you can see me like work on the, the plugins that I make and everything like that, and 3D printing and all sorts of stuff that we've got going on at the moment. So, much love to you all. Put your rock up in the stone. See you soon.